All right, hello, hello, and welcome to our sneak peek into coaching, snapshot into coaching, look into coaching, whatever you want to call it. It is a chance for us to share this gift that coaching is to our lives. It's such a blessing. Um, it's We've worked it in all different seasons of life. You're going to hear different stories, um, but it's just such an incredible, flexible thing that you really can kind of work into, you know, make it work for you and wherever you are. So um, I'm actually going to share my screen so that we can um, have some, where are we here? Uh, sure screen. Um, so we have some slides that we're going to go through and try to, like I said, value your time. Um, because we do. Yes, she's talking too. Daddy's supposed to have a baby. I don't even know where he is, but that's okay. All right. So things that you can expect tonight, you're going to hear a little bit about our team mission um, and why our team is a little bit different. You're going to hear a couple different coach stories and hear different backgrounds and how we kind of work coaching into the season of life that we're in. Um, you're going to hear different hesitations from each coach, like what that thing was that they were most hesitant about, but I can guarantee you that most of us have felt multiple different hesitations at different points in our business and so whatever your that thing is for you that you're trying to disqualify yourself already i'm not in perfect shape or where i want to be goal wise i don't have a lot of time i'm not great at social media i don't have a following um i don't have any business knowledge whatever it is i guarantee you we've all felt the same thing and so you're gonna get to hear that um we like to keep it real too so any questions you have just let us know we would love to answer those we're gonna talk a little bit about how to make coaching work for you in the season of life that you're in the giftings that god's given you the story that you have um the struggles that you have and then we'll talk about like some perks of coaching and just what all goes into it how we earn income all of that and then open it up for any questions as well so um, we are the Radiant Tribe. We love to get to talk about coaching because it's just, like I said, something that's been just such a blessing and a gift to us. Um, we are from all over the United States as well as Canada. Shout out to Amanda. She's in Canada right now. And it's so neat that we're able to connect virtually, right, um, through Zoom and through what we do. We have, you know, apps that we plug into and can just through the internet connect and and meet women all over the country so our team is full of women all different seasons of life um, backgrounds we have personal trainers we have um, teachers we have nurses we have photographers we have um, corporate America we have stay-at-home moms we have you name it, and it's probably represented somewhere on our team, which is such a beautiful thing. We're all different um, and unique, but what knits us together is honestly God. He's knitted us together. We have that in common, and we also have a passion for health and fitness in common and a desire to share that and help other people find freedom um, through Jesus. And so, uh, this is some just different pictures of us, um, of our team get together. So while it's virtual and we love that because we can do this and connect with you and so many people we also love and we can get together and hug each other's necks and laugh together and work out together and pray together and just have a good time. So we have some of those events coming up soon, which is going to be so, so, so much fun. Um, so as far as our team mission, I'll share about that. Um, first, I'll share Beachbody's team mission. We are Beachbody coaches. You might not have necessarily heard that or you don't hear us maybe sharing that all over our social media and it's not because we are ashamed or anything we're very proud to be partnered with the company that we're partnered with the integrity that they have the quality of our products and how they constantly are coming out with you know things to meet people where they are in an affordable and effective way um but it's mainly because we um you know, we like to get to, to talk about this behind the scenes. People have a lot of preconceived thoughts when it comes to network marketing, maybe because you have had it done wrong before, you know, to you, whether it was somebody just reaching out with a really spammy message and it turned you off or somebody who, you know, just gave you a nasty taste in your mouth towards it. And so um, we don't do it that way. <laughs> that is not how we work our businesses. We really do. We're about people. It's a people business. It's a relationship business. We want to build genuine relationships with people and really get to know where they are. We don't want to just shove a product down somebody's throat. We want to get to know like, what are your goals? You know, what are you struggling with so that we can match you with what's going to help you. And then, whereas with a lot of different, you know, 
things like this. It's like you sell the product and the person you say, okay, great, good luck. That's where our job starts. And that's what I love about this. And that's why this coach compensation plan and the coach model was created was because they put out things at the beginning. They put out P90X and different programs and they were flying off the infomercials. Anybody remember infomercials back in the day? Um, they were fine off the, the, the infomercials. People were purchasing them, but they realized that something was missing. People would purchase them, but when they would go to check in and get testimonials and, and stories from people, people weren't even opening their boxes. And so um, they stumbled upon kind of like a, a forum kind of basically like a chat like back in the day and people who had gone through the program were like coaching and helping other people through the programs and those people felt accountable and they felt encouraged and motivated to keep going and so they were completing it and they were like you know what there's a need here and the need is for community and connection and accountability and so that's how the coach uh, team beach body was created so i love that it actually didn't start out as a network marketing model it started off as a way to meet people's needs and to help make fitness accessible and affordable to people um, and then it turned into what came out of it was an opportunity for people like you and me normal people like you and me to be able to you know come alongside of other people first for ourselves. Um, we're all on our journeys. You're going to hear that in all of our stories too. It's about uh, being on our own journey at first, uh, ourselves, not our, at first, always being on our own journey, but then second, reaching out and helping people come alongside of them and helping them reach their goals as well. So that's Beachbody's mission is to help people live healthy and fulfilling lives and reach their goals. Like, how cool is that? And then our mission as a team that we are a faith build team. Um, we believe that, yes, we want to reach our health and fitness goals, our physical goals, you know, emotional, mental, all of that. But we know that the root and the foundation for a sustainable um, health and fitness journey and real lasting freedom is going to come from a journey that's surrendered to God. When we don't have the strength, when we don't have the motivation, when we don't have, you know, the will, guess what? We get to tap into an unlimited resource through through the Lord, and then we have what we need to, to keep going. And so um, that's our mission as a team. Hey. Um, that is our mission as a team is we absolutely, like I said, want to help you reach whatever those health and fitness goals are, but we can't chase those goals or else we're going to keep chasing, chasing those things. Um, they can become empty, right? The health and fitness world is a very dark world. It's very self-seeking. It's very, um, you know, it's sometimes a, a difficult place to be. And so to have each other, to remind each other of what's most important, that it's not just about the abs, right? But it's about really having, like I said, that long lasting freedom um, has been a really incredible thing. So we take the health and fitness, we combine it with faith and together we have this total wellness where you can be healthy in all areas of your life and disciplined in all areas of life and just watch the joy that can flow through all of that. So um, I I love that. All right, so my name is Patrice Buller, and I've been coaching since November of 2016. I've been, a, I am a wife of almost 12 years, actually in May, which is insane. I have four kids. Three are here. Julian is six. Jonah is four. Eden is six months, and she has an identical twin sister who is in heaven. Um, I'm a personal trainer, group fitness instructor, former athlete. I am the minority when it comes to being a personal trainer and fitness instructor. I know a lot of people hear like health and fitness coach, and they automatically are like, okay, well, I'm not that, but you don't have to be. I am a minority. Um, but I have always been passionate about health and fitness. And I used to think that that had to be within the walls of a gym. And so to be able to do this coaching, have it combine all of my favorite things together um, and be able to do it at home around my kids' schedule. Right now I'm like rocking the after bedtime work because it works for me or pockets during the day, like when the baby's sleeping. Like I said, you can figure it out in any season of life. Um, and that's what's working well for me right now. And so, um, I am on a grief journey. Like I said, I have a daughter that is in heaven. So navigating that um, as well as a postpartum journey. I am 
30 pounds away from where I normally am at this point. And so instead of doing what I did the first time when I had my first, I kind of went into my closet because I don't walk out of the hospital in my skinny jeans like most people do. Most of the fitness people that I was following do. And I felt defeated about that. So I kind of got in shape and then said, hey, I'm back. Whereas the second time with Jonah, I was like, no, I know there, there are women out there who need to, you know, see somebody that's on their journey and just like sharing their struggles and how I had two, basically two and under, and it was hard, you know, it was hard to figure out, uh, you know, uh, what to do and all of that. I'm a personal trainer. So I like, I knew what to do, but I didn't have any accountability to stick to it. I didn't have any structure. I was just trying to figure it out. Um, and it was, it was, it was hard. I'm a team girl. I love community team. Like I said, I'm a former college athlete. I played sports through college. And so I didn't even know that community um, was something that I was missing in my own journey until I got a taste of it. And so my husband had been saying, you know, babe, why don't you coach? You know, it's exactly what you are doing, you're sharing your journey on social media, you are sharing meal plans and workouts and things like that. Cause like I said, I was just passionate about it. Um, but I just didn't really understand the coach thing, to be honest. And I'm like, does this even really work? That was my biggest hesitation was like, does this even really work? And so um, I said no for so long. And then finally I went to a sneak peek like this and saw my coach who had connected faith with fitness um, together. And I was like, that's it. I knew that I needed to follow someone who was following God. And so I um, signed up with her and never looked back. It's been four years. And from that one yes, I mean, we have between all of us coaches and our own communities, like hundreds of women that starting with one person, not that it was me at all, but starting with that one yes, like the impact that's been able to happen. And same thing with each one of these coaches that are going to speak and like them saying yes, and the impact that's been able to happen through them just saying, you know what, I'm going to show up and share unapologetically the hard, the victories, all of that, and let God use my story. Just like if you say yes, it's going to be the same thing for you. So don't make it necessarily about you and your hesitations. Like what would happen if you say, you know what, I'm just going to show up and I'm going to share and see what God does with it. And so um, I've loved being able to be at home with my kiddos. I did personal training before I did coaching. And um, I just love how coaching allows me to connect with and reach and help and serve way more people than I could as a personal trainer in a building. Um, and so, yeah, it's been amazing. I love it so much. And uh, I'm going to pass it on to Ashley. She's going to share her story and how she's a busy mama and what her main hesitation was herself. All right. Um, thank you. For so I am um, Ashley and I um, have I'm coaching now since December of 2017. Um, I've known Patrice, I guess, a little bit before then. Um, we operated in the same kind of fitness circles. We were part of the same run club. Um, I also am a lot like her in the sense of part of the minority of coaches in the sense of um, I do have a fitness um, and nutrition background. Um, I started, I actually got certified to be a group fitness instructor back in 2013. Um, and that's where my love for helping women um, and women of all seasons of life. Um, I used to work at a YMCA and one of my favorite classes, um, I had this uh, like group of women that stayed with me like through every class, every season of my life as I grew at the Y. Um, became a certified personal trainer, as well as a certified sports nutritionist. Um, and then I met Patrice. And Patrice showed me that there was a world outside of the four walls of my local YMCA, um, and that I could help more women, which at first I was like, well, wait a minute, what about childcare? Because I'm a wife and a mom of four busy girls. Um, and I needed something that allowed me to still be as flexible as I needed to be with them. Oh, wait, and did I mention I actually work a real job outside of coaching and outside of um, back when I used to teach classes. I am an on-air representative for a line that's featured on QVC, like one of those home shopping channels. And so my hours are crazy. 
My daughters are all athletes as well. So they each have their own practice schedule, um, multiple days a week. Actually, I have two at swim practice right now, which fortunately my husband agreed to pick them up because um, it's my night, but I'm glad he did. Um, so I needed something that worked within my world and my crazy hours. So my biggest hesitation was with the why, I had a set schedule. I knew every Thursday at 8.15, I would teach a body flow class. I knew Mondays at 6 a.m., I had a personal training client. You know, it was structured and I worked my schedule around that schedule. I needed something that wouldn't take up a whole lot of time. I'm busy enough as it is, I've got too much stuff on my plate. Um, and that's where coaching comes in. So my biggest hesitation was, honestly, I, I didn't have enough time. And I remember saying that the Patrice, oh, well, you know, sure, I'll sign up. I'll see how it goes. Um, I really wanted it for the launch of a new program at the time. It was called 80 Day Obsession from Autumn Calabrese. And I wanted to do the program. I did it with Patrice and our group of women. And it was so fun. And then I continued to grow and understand, oh, wait, I can help more people. I brought a few friends along, a cousin or two, to join me on that program. And it was great. But Again, it didn't take up much time. The workouts were 30 to 45 minutes. There were a couple that were 60 minutes, and that was it. So besides the workouts, how do I work the business within already having a full-time job? At the time, I was still teaching and working at the YMCA, and my daughter's in their schedule. Oh, wait, and my husband, who works two jobs, how was I going to make all of this work and you know keep all the balls in the air? Well, fortunately. Um, coaching doesn't take a whole lot of time and it's actually kind of some pretty no brainer activities. Um, Patrice mentioned how we want to get to know people. Um, the first thing is, well, first thing is you follow your own health journey because you know, you have to work on yourself. You can't help someone else if you can't help yourself first. So we have basically four vital behaviors as a coach that we follow. The first one is you work on yourself. You work on your own health journey, you follow your own fitness programs, your own nutrition programs, you work on yourself. The second vital behavior is we get to know people, we connect with people, we uplift people, um, we share the joys and the happiness that we've found and we try to share that with others. Um, so the second vital behavior is connecting, inviting, and then you follow up with people. But you follow up too after you invite people, even if they say no. So for my friends and for those of us who have invited you here, guess what? You're stuck with us. Like we're your friends now. If we just met you on the Instagram, on the, my girls laugh at me because I call it the Instagram. Um, if we met you on Instagram or if we've known you for a long time, sorry, you're stuck with us now. Um, we are your friends. And then also we help people get results, which again, that's what I love. And I was able to expand from the YMCA is I can help more women than the four walls of my local gym. And then lastly, it comes full circle back to you. Remember we started with our health journey, then we're ending with personal development. We want you to enrich your life, grow as a person. So the beauty is, is that those tasks and doing those four simple tasks don't take that long. Okay, so you're going to eat every day, right? Let's just monitor what we're eating and put good foods in our body. You're going to work out 30 minutes a day. How about 20 minutes a day? There are short programs. That doesn't take a whole lot of time. The other vital behaviors, there are time limits. And even there's even a cool little checklist, um, if you're a list person, like I am, um, that allows you to fit it in within the pockets of your day. Maybe you're getting this in on your lunch break because you work from nine to five. Maybe you're sitting in the car waiting at a practice for a kid to come out and you're going to reach out and uplift, share some joy with people. Um, maybe you're going to listen to a podcast on your way to and from wherever you are going. So that's the beauty of coaching is that it doesn't take a whole lot of time. So my biggest hesitation was like debunked as soon as um, Patrice brought me in and said, you know, this really doesn't take much more than what you're already doing. Um, and so for that, I am grateful with that. I've been able to roughly lose overall about 20 pounds 
from December 2017 to today. So. I'm very happy. I'm healthy. My girls love the Beachbody workouts. I keep more products in the house because of my daughter, Mia. Um, she drinks the most Shigology probably ever. She will drink two a day if she can, um, but she puts Oreos in them. So like, let's, let's be real. <laughs> Patrice, she is my child. <laughs> Oreos are her kryptonite as well. Um, so yeah, so that's me. And coaching honestly doesn't take a whole lot of time. We teach you how to work smarter, not harder, efficiently. And you can honestly get the tasks down, including your workout, into about two hours total within a day. That's including your workout. Okay, that's all I have to share. I love that. It never gets old hearing the stories, but seriously, I mean, if she can do it, we can do it, right? Um, I love that. So to recap kind of what she said, coaching doesn't take a lot of time. We won't say that it's easy and doesn't take work. You don't just post on social media and everybody comes running to you, although that's probably what people assume. It does take work, but it's those four things that she just explained, and we break those down for you. We don't just have you join and throw you out to the wolves. We teach you exactly what to do, how to do it, as new coach training and all that type of stuff. So don't let anything that we're saying feel overwhelming to you. I promise you, because you're joining a team that is active and working the business, um, you know, we'll be right there with you every step of the way. So I love that so much. All right, now Amanda is gonna share some of her story, and uh, you're gonna hear a cute Canadian accent, hey? Eh? And then she'll share her hesitation as well. Do I have a Canadian accent though? I'm like real? I just, okay, okay, got it. Cool. Okay, well, I hope it's cute. Um, anyway, my story I'm about 24 now. I live in Alberta, Canada. So that's the province right above the states, or right above Montana, if you don't know. Um, okay, that sounded pretty Canadian. Anyway, <laughs> um, I've been coaching on this team for just over a year, but I've been in the coaching world for almost, or like a, a right around three, maybe around the same time Ashley started. Um, as a teenager, I struggled with eating disorders and just had such a low self-esteem. I hated my body. Um, I really would just starve myself to get at it. And I was just in a very unhealthy relationship with food. So when I had uh, my first daughter, I knew I needed to do something different. I needed to love myself. I wanted to show her a better way. I didn't want her to like get in the same um, cycle and relationship with food that I was in and I needed to be a better example and so I tried doing my you know Pinterest workouts and I would go for the occasional run and I would maybe eat a little bit healthy and I was really getting myself nowhere because I didn't know how to push myself I didn't know anything about eating healthy really all I knew was just you know don't eat and you can get skinny kind of thing right um, so I had no idea what I was doing and I got invited into a little free group community. I was engaging myself with workouts. I was pushing myself a little harder. I was just like plugging myself in. I had a little competitive edge to show up every day and just doing that. I was like, okay, like I, um, already seen like a difference within myself of having that community and what it's all done for me. And I realized that that was something I needed. And then I jumped into Beachbody, fell in love with how easy it is to stream workouts, do it from anywhere. I started in my living room. I have worked my way into a little gym I have here, which is also my office. Um, I just honestly, I started from nothing and pretty much I am here where I am. I love uh, fitness and health and um, farming. Like me and my husband, we were really into like growing things a more ethical way and growing things and raising our livestock the way God really designed it. So it's really just kind of played into so much of our lifestyle and it's been amazing. My husband loves the products and stuff as well. It took him a while, but he did his research and he's like, so for it, which is great. And yeah, that's kind of what started me there. But what I really initially was my hesitation to starting was I did not have Instagram. I was that one millennial kid without an Instagram. I pretty much um, deleted a lot of people I didn't really know or talk to off of my Facebook. I was a really private person. I was like, nobody cares what I'm doing. I'm just a nobody. And when it kind of came to coaching and I jumped in and I started, I was like, no, I need to be the person that I needed most when I struggled 
with my body and hating myself and everything. And I just wanted to show up with the full force to be the person I needed in those moments and, you know, be the influencer in that positive source that way. So I started up an Instagram. I, you know, slowly but surely I'm gaining followers. I am at just about 1500. So it's still small, but it's working my business. You don't have to be a pro. I've made slow, um, I, yeah, I've made slow improvements to how I ran my Instagram and how I did posts. I'm not a writer. I was never really good at school or English or any of that. So, you know, I just had to start with nothing, but I just had the will and the heart to do it. And that's what helped me push forward and to be able to inspire other people to join me. And I've seen such incredible transformations um, from people who were much like me before they came to Beachbody and doing these types of programs. And it's just been so great. And it's what's kept me going. And that's just um, a huge, <laughs> a huge part of it. For me and then also using this business as you know an example for my daughters like I am not here to just you know make a quick buck like I'm here to really serve and help people to still love themselves and the way that they were created to be so that is a bit of my story that is where I am at and I just want to say like I did not have a social media I did not have business skills talent or anything but being a part of this team like i have learned so much over the the year that um i know i have all the tools i need to be able to grow and to serve the best i can so that is that's me and i i hope that you kind of take that in and you're inspired by that too because it's really been transformative for everything in my life I love that so much, especially looking at your girls in the picture. It's like, so true. We're doing this. And yes, number one is our health journey, but that's going to spill over and overflow into our family. I don't like to look at it as like, mommy's getting healthy over here and I'm going to feed you guys what? Like unhealthy? No, like health is for the family. I want to have my whole family, um, you know, be healthy. And like, we get to be the catalyst for that. We get to set the tone for that. And again, coaching is such an incredible accountability to be able to do that. So I love that. and love watching your story unfold. So now lastly, Erica is going to share a little bit about her story and her hesitation as well. Hey, hey, hey. My name is Erica Scott. I am a, wait, where's my picture? <laughs> Cause I totally did not even like think about what I was going to say tonight. I was laying on the couch watching Justice League before we hopped on. So, um, <laughs> I'm a mom of two. Um, my son just turned four. My daughter is nine. Um, married. It'll be 10 years next month um yeah so i my journey started back in 2012 when my daughter was about seven months old um i was about 260 something pounds um with sawyer i got up to probably like 280 um and she was starting to walk at like seven months and basically i was like i need to get healthy to be able to keep up with this child and um, just be a role model for my family. So I started with um, random YouTube videos and um, uh, what was it, Couch to 5K for like the first month, lost um, about eight pounds. And from the from day one of my journey, I was sharing on, um, on social media, Instagram actually, because um, Instagram, I didn't know people. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt more comfortable sharing on Instagram than Facebook with like my real, my real peoples. Um, so I was sharing on Instagram from day one, um, about my second month in, I decided I just needed more structure, um, like a nutrition plan to follow, a fitness plan to follow instead of kind of loosey goosey. So I dusted off my burned copy of P90X, don't do that, purchase, so you get all the things, because I didn't have like the calendar and stuff that came with it, but um, yeah, I had a burned copy of the of P90X that I got from a coworker um, years and years before. Um, and I started doing that and sharing. And about a month in, I shared, um, or phase one, yeah, about a month in, um, shared my transformation story from that. Um, and I was nervous because I was like, oh, can you even tell? 
um, that there's a change, but you know, um, I was sharing on Instagram just for accountability for myself. And so I shared it and, um, someone that I did not know reached out to me, um, and was like, you should, you should be a coach. And at the time, again, I was like 240 something, um, after hitting this phase of P90X. Um, and I thought the person was crazy. And I actually still have this conversation like somewhere on my Instagram. He was like, you should be a coach. And I was like, you're crazy. Cause I'm, you know, X amount of weight and I'm not unlike Ashley and Patrice, um, no kind of fitness, um, background or anything like that. I hated sports when I was a kid because I've been overweight since childhood. Um, but it was basically because I didn't know what a coach was or what they did. Um, and so he invited me to a sneak peek, um, basically where he said, you're, you're already doing what coaches do. And what we do is help to encourage and inspire others along on their journey. Real, real people just looking, um, to be healthy, uh, for their families. And, um, so I decided to join, um, in September of 2012. Um, and, you know, I ended up losing about a hundred pounds, um, in like 16 months. And I've been able to maintain that for the last seven years, um, throughout, you know, um, coaching, um, and using Beachbody products and their nutrition plans. Um, and so, oh, rewind. So my biggest hesitation, basically, if you didn't pick up on that was, I wasn't in the perfect, uh, you know, um, shape. Um, I wasn't, you know, I didn't have a fitness background or anything like that, but basically being a coach is like I said, helping encourage other people along on their journeys. People like to see real, um, you know, they don't, you can't relate with someone that might just pop on the scene, like, Hey, you know, perfect, whatever, or perfect air quotes, um, journey and everything. And I've shared, like I said, from day one. So they've been able to see me from, you know, that I think in that picture I posted, like I was trying to lose my pre baby weight. Cause I, again, I've been <laughs> overweight my entire life. Um, and people just, they relate to, to the real deal. And I've never been perfect on my wellness journey, but I've been consistent. Um, and that's how I've, you know, been able to maintain my health through, um, through the last seven eight years. Um, and just being on, I was actually on another team, um, before, um, meeting Patrice. Um, I always say that God kind of used my wellness journey to get a hold of me, um, as far as my walk with him, um, because I was kind of just doing my own thing. But back in 2014, he kind of just started tugging at my heart and I wanted to pull him into every aspect of my life. Um, and like stop compartmentalizing things because he cares about the things we care about. And um, wellness is one of those things and how we steward our bodies and our health. And I started like looking for people that um, were including faith in their journeys. Um, and, you know, a few years later, I came across Patrice and I was just, I just loved her energy and um, just, just her light. Um, and so I reached out to her. Um, and you know the rest is history <laughs> i love that so much and i love just the sustainability right like people can lose weight there's a lot of stuff out there um not all of it's healthy there are a lot of different things you know to do and some people lose weight and have big weight loss stories and that's great but is it sustainable so to see a story of seven, eight years, right? And see the joy that she has living it out and the excitement that she has to be on this journey. It's not a dread, like she enjoys it. And I don't think that girl, you know, in the first picture, right before she started necessarily loved it because it was probably, you know, so hard. Not that it's not hard now, but she's established discipline, right? She chooses discipline over motivation and her story has just been so incredible. Um, to just watch happen, especially what God's done in her heart and her life and all of that. I feel like coaching is a refining tool for me um, as well in so many different areas. So thank you so much for, for sharing that. 
All right, so let's talk about coach perks. So basically when you join as a coach, um, we shared the main things that you do as a coach. You're on your own personal health and fitness journey. You're living that out, struggles and all. We are not perfect, nor are we like aiming to be. We want to, we're aiming for progress, right? We're aiming for patterns, for habits over perfection. Um, and so we're on our journeys. We are sharing that and just you know, encouraging other people as well, helping them reach their goals. And as a result of being a coach, you get a 25% discount on all of your, um, anything that you need. So that's a great thing about this too, is a lot of companies, um, you have to purchase a lot. Like you have to have a certain amount of inventory, you know, every month, sometimes upwards of like thousands, thousands of dollars. And like, you're responsible for selling that stuff and getting it out of your house. Uh, it's not this way at all. Beachbody actually takes care of all that for us. We only purchase what we personally use. Our customers go to our website, they sign up there and Beachbody takes care of the rest. And so um, you really are just using whatever you know you personally need for your own journey. So to get 25% off of that, we have tons of coaches that are coaches just for that reason, just for the discount because they just love the product so much, the supplement so much, um, they love the community so much and they just want to get the discount that we get and aren't necessarily interested in working the business at the time. And that's perfectly okay. It's about you know, where you are and what your needs and your goals are. And so you get 25% off of everything, which is amazing. If you don't know some of the things that we offer, yes, we have fitness. That's a huge part and that's how it started. But we have over the years turned into a powerhouse of a nutrition uh, company as well. And so we have a superfood shake. You've seen, probably heard of Shakeology. It is not a protein shake, although there's protein in there, but it has prebiotic, probiotic, digestive enzymes, so much good stuff, vitamins, minerals. I call it like a health shake. It actually helped to clear my chronic eczema that had had all over my hands. So that is something um, a lot of people think that we're that fitness and Shakeology, but there's so many things. We have collagen, we have greens, we have energy uh, boosts that are natural. Everything is from natural sources, no junk in it. I don't play that when it comes to ingredients and what I'm putting into my body. I care, um, like I said, total wellness. And so I did a lot of research, my husband and I did a lot of research before we used these products and decided to like help other people use them. We wanted to make sure it was high quality quality. And so it is all the good stuff minus the junk. We have post-workout recovery formula. We have, um, a tea that you can drink. We have, what am I missing? A healthy version of Gatorade. We have snack bars. We have so many things that um, are just really good, like I said, quality supplements. So whatever it is that you're using, 25% off of all of that. Um, you also then take it a step further. And, you know, as a coach, if you're like, you know what, I want to help people, then you're going to earn a 25% commission on anything that goes through your website. Amazing. So if you're eating your snack bar and somebody's like, what's that? You know, I'm going to try that kind of bar and you start sharing about it and they want to join, they go to your website, they get the bars and you get 25% off of that. Or we have things up or, you know, packages where they get all a year of workouts plus supplements plus our community, all of that, you get commission off of that, which is amazing. So then you also get access to brand new programs before they get released, like to Beachbody on demand for with a regular customer. You get it first as a coach. You get access to it first, which is unbelievable. Like I said, Beachbody is constantly coming out new programs, new supplements, new um, new ways to meet people where they are and help them really get healthy. And so you get to take advantage of those things first. There's also a team cycle bonus. So we talked about commission. That's one major way that we earn income is through commission. We help people with you know, supplements and workouts and things like that. And we get a, a piece of that. Um, and then there's also another side of income. So this is more of like the retail side with commissions. Like that's you working for, you know, what's coming through. Um, and there's also um, a residual opportunity there with people when they stay on home direct for it. So that's a great way to earn income. But if you want to really talk about that, like residual income, there's team cycle bonus. So we help people get healthy and help them reach their goals. But there's also an opportunity where we do this. We have coaches that join us. And if coaches join us and they want to do the same thing, they're on their journey first and, you know, using supplements as well as helping other people. Now there is a team um, cycle bonus once you hit a certain like place in your business um, where you can start building up like volume and income simply by whatever's happening under 
underneath of you. And that's how, when you hear people, you know, retiring and retiring their husbands and, you know, being really successful in this business, it's not necessarily that they're out selling a billion things, but they're at a place where, you know, they're bringing people onto their team that want to help people. They're showing them how to help people. Um, and they're out doing things. And as a result of that, you know, you benefit, which is a really amazing thing. So there is no, um, incentive for us to just like sign up a bunch of coaches um that would be more of like a pyramid scheme which are illegal <laughs> so there's another hesitation right there it, we would be shut down because it, we can't be a pyramid scheme um there is a mutual exchange of goods you know there's somebody with a need we supply them with a product and we get paid for it so that is legal all right and then when it comes to you know more of like the tiers that we're talking about here you, my coaches can outrank me and out earn me. It's not that I'm at the top, you know, or somebody at the top making all the money um, and, and benefiting more than other people. It's not like that at all. We all have an equal opportunity to earn income. And that's a really, really awesome thing. And honestly, our income is a direct reflection of the impact that we're having. And that's what I love so much. So I love that this has been a blessing for my family and a full-time income for me. And I can be home with my kids. Absolutely. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I also love that my income is like attached to the people that I'm impacting. It's about people first, um, helping them. It means nothing to us to just sign up a bunch of coaches or even a bunch of clients if they don't do anything. So that's more incentive for us to be like, no, don't just purchase, like, let's do this. Let's actually help you reach your goals. Um, and so that helps us to really do what we said we're gonna do. We get to work with integrity um, and really, you know, want to really help people um, get to where they wanna be. And so that's team cycle bonus. That's really the biggest way, you know, to earn income and it takes time over time. There's also different gifts and rewards. You know, when you help a couple people a month, a few people a month, they send, you know, all kinds of gifts, you know, tank tops and book bags and cute hats and massagers and all kinds of fun stuff. I love gifts. I don't know. I think that's my love language. So um, that's nice to be rewarded on top of what you're already doing, as well as we have yearly trips. The last couple of years were canceled. Well, last this year and last year were canceled because of everything going on. Um, but it's an incredible opportunity to just get to go away and Beachbody covers everything once you're there from your meals. Um, my husband and I have gone to Mexico. We took our whole family on a cruise to so a bunch of different cool places all covered from the company and we don't do it for the perks. It's not about the perks. It's about purpose. Um, and it's also just really cool to be able to have those things though, on top of what you're already doing and really just kind of getting neat things and gifts for, and being appreciated for doing your job is really sweet. But again, it's not about that. That's not why we do it. We're about the purpose. So um, this is just a little collage of pictures. So it's just so fun to um, get to show this team outside of the virtual. We do get together. Um, we have team retreats. We're going to get together for our summit because it was officially canceled. Our once a year big coach uh, event that we were supposed to, supposed to have in Missouri was canceled, but um, we will be having one and hosting one and getting together this summer, which will be so incredible. We're going to grow, you know, in our businesses, work out together and just have such a great time um, and do it kind of with our own little flair to it and so um have a couple pictures of different trips and things like that too but we love to get together all right so just a little bit of a recap god will use your story for his glory okay your story he's not looking for you to share my story or someone else's story i mean you can do that but he wants to use your story the way he's created you with your giftings and he wants to use your struggles and different things to reach your people I can't reach your people, right? Because they don't know me and probably wouldn't connect with me, just like vice versa. You know, each of us have different stories and that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Yes, there's a lot of coaches, but there's also way more people that need to be helped than there are coaches. And so why not be the person that gets to, you know, be the person that connects to the people in your sphere of influence and helps them get healthy, right? Um, you don't have to focus on selling. If you're like, I'm not a, a salesperson, that's not my thing. Don't worry. Like that's none of our thing either. <laughs> but we do love to share because you heard from each of us, we have a personal story with this. And that's what we would help you get is your own personal story so that you're just sharing 
the benefits and what the blessing that it's been to you. Just like you would share about a movie or a restaurant or, you know, this person's Instagram that you love to follow. We're so quick to share things that we love. Like, how would this be any different? If your life is truly changed by the workouts and the community and you know, what God's doing and the products, you know, you're going to want to talk to people about that. And so you get to share that. And, um, you know, it's less pressure to be like, I got to sell, sell, sell. and more like, I want to share, like, I want to share this with as many people as possible. Social media is a great way to grow your business. You heard from Amanda who didn't have a big social media following at the beginning. I didn't either. I don't think any of us did, honestly, but over time with us being consistent and showing up and implementing different, you know, um, things to really connect with people and add value and share value, our social medias grow, right? So it's a great thing to be able to use social media, but also social media isn't the only way to grow your business. We all have people in our real life, right? At church, we have people in our mom's groups, we have people around the Thanksgiving table, we have family, we have friends, and that's where we want you to start is, you know, with the people that already know you and already trust you, already love you, already want to support you. My mom was one of my very first clients and still four years later, she was in my very first group. So I was like, mom, you got to do this with me. Like I'm a coach. Like I, I need you, right? Like be in my first group. So I had a bunch of girls in my first group and she's one that still four years later is down 30 pounds from that group. She learned how to live healthy. If I didn't help anybody else after that, like what a blessing, you know, my mom is healthier. Like, because I asked her. And so think of all the people that could be healthier because of you. And so we're going to start with the people who know us and love us and get together in real life, you know, and, and think about people in real life as well. So don't let social media scare you. It's a great benefit. It's a great way to grow. Um, but also just remember, like you can do that off of social media as well. Um, you will have plenty of support and resources, uh, provided for you. We actually do, um, a new coach training, like I said, which I'll talk about in a second, but, um, we are here for you and you literally will have everything that you need. Um, and it's going to hold you accountable in your own personal journey. If you know that you had a few girls join you and you have a little group going, you're going to be likely to show up. I showed up on the two weeks vacation while I was traveling because I know like at this point, there's no way I cannot show up. I'm going to have people like, Oh, where have you been? <laughs> so that's accountability for you. It's a good thing, you know, to know like there's people that care about you and want to check in to see how you're doing. And so it's great for them, but it's also great for me and helps keep me, um, you know, accountable in my own journey as well. All right. So if you have any questions, um, as far as next steps, here are your next steps. Okay. You have three options and ghosting us is not an option. So number one is you're saying, you know what? I'm all in. I loved everything that I heard. I'm excited. You know, either I'm already on my journey or I need to go on my journey, but I want to, at the same time, learn how to share that and encourage other people, inspire other people and earn an income. It could just be a small amount of income on the side, or you could want to replace your full-time income. We have coaches with all different goals and we're going to get to know what your goals are. So don't worry about what you're, where you are. It's okay. Just say, yes, I'm all in. I want to know, you know, how to do this. Well, we're going to add you um, into our new coach mentorship that starts on Monday. It's just three weeks. It's um, five days a week. It's a five to 10 minute video every day with a little bit of homework to do. Really just kind of helps establish the foundations and the basics of what it looks like to start your business. Um, and then we'll continue to water it and grow it over time. And so it's a great place to start and you'll be starting with other ladies who are joining at the same time. Um, so that's number one, just reach out to your coach and let them know you're a one. Uh, number two is if you're like, you know what, I'm not quite sure about coaching, going on with coaching, but I know I need to be on my own health and fitness journey. And so I want to know more information about that, how I can get healthy and focus on myself first. And we're going to get you information for that and add you into our community and really come alongside of you and support you and help you reach your goals. And the third thing is, if you're like, you know what, I'm just not really sure about all this, like I need some time to think about it, or maybe it's not a good fit. We are not about pressure. <laughs> I know there are a lot, there's a lot of that out there, right? And we're not trying to add to that. So if you um, feel like this is not a good fit for you, that's okay. Just let us know, okay? We want it to be a good fit um, on both sides. So that's pretty much what's going to happen next. We talked about how to earn income. Basically, the cost to join is just going to be the cost for your own 
um, what you need, your own tools. You're going to get your beach body on demand so that you have workouts to be able to show people yourself working out from home and starting your day one and walking people through your journey. You're going to choose a supplement, whether it's Shakeology or a pre and post workout. Um, and that's going to give you basically what you need. And it's the cost of that package is literally what I could charge as a personal trainer for like one or two personal training sessions, just workouts, like one or two workouts. You're going to get a whole year of nutrition tools for literally under, under $200 which is insane unbelievable um so yes any questions i think i see in the chat let me stop sharing this let me know were there any questions here um here oh that was amanda no questions no questions was that so over um, one thing um too is if you bring on a friend or a family member one or two or more or however um we also have communities already operating and running so you don't feel like you have to start from square one with like patrice's mom was her first client you don't have to start square one how do i create a whole group around for this one person we're here to help you we have communities that you are open to you um, and open for your family members and friends as well so um you know that's part of the training with the new coach mentorship too is that we'll plug you into one of our communities so you get firsthand how it goes and then you can break off and do your own thing so true any other questions hi lisa <laughs> let me see that baby her baby was in the NICU with eden literally the same hospital we found, she found me on Instagram and then we're like, wait, what? What? Christiana, you're like upstairs. It's crazy. So I love seeing her thrive and do so amazing. All right. Well, we are always here. So reach out to your coach and let them know what numbers, what one, two or three. And uh, we'll make sure that you get connected to what you need and uh, go from there. So we are so thankful that you tuned in and listened to us. We could talk about this all night, but we won't. Um, but we really hope that you, um, that you join us. We'd love to have you join our team. Have a great night. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye.